we're visiting the East Pool Mine. I think we're going underground and we're seeing some uh, historic large beam engines uh, from the early Industrial Revolution and it's difficult to uh, underestimate or overestimate the impact that this area had on the development of world industry. Uh, it fed the Industrial Revolution. It uh, tin, copper, um, mainly sourced from here, the biggest uh, source uh, in the world at that time. And in fact, the uh, port that we were looking at yesterday, which is almost completely disappeared, was the largest uh, mining port in the world in the early 1800s. Um, is the... Oh, they're great. I think Treve's just about to start. He'll probably start our rounds here. Where did you come from? Camborne. I live Camborne. in Camborne. I live oh, in Twispen. Twispen? Sorry? Twispen, the other side Trispen, of Toronto. Twispen, up near Toronto. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Berkshire, Newbury. The old miners always work in fathoms. Uh, I asked the miner many years ago, why do they work in fathoms? He said, well, when you go that way, you measure in feet, yards and miles. When you go that way, you measure in fathoms. <laughs> So it's a sea measurement. In other words, going down into fathoms. Well, it's got very overgrown since the uh, pandemic because nobody's been out here looking after it. Um, but the um, temperature here would have been quite high, but nowhere near as high as 50, 60 feet below ground level. And it's sloped, little small tunnel, it's sloped to a nearby valley or out to the coast. So across here. Yeah. Um, initially, they thought they needed two companies. Whoa! Oh, oh, good. Oh, good. So that's a signal to the engine driver for various things. What's the bad? Gosh. Yeah. Winding engines usually went from about 18 inches up to about 30. And winding engines were used for lifting the rock up and lifting men. Also, the winding engines were used for driving uh, engineering machinery and woodworking machinery because the mines were practically self-sufficient on maintenance. Um, the outside. Um, it was made by a harpy called Hale. Um, apparently, it was brought from Harveys and Hale up to its initial uh, position. Uh, pulled by a team of 16 horses, um, but when it was brought from the mine just up the road down to here, it was pulled by two steam engines. Um, there were five manufacturers of pumping engines. The other half. Steam engines in the country. Uh, two manufacturers of air compressors and drop drills. Two blue sort of um, rusty thing. That is the air extractor, which I, in actual fact, it's nothing to do with East Pool. That is put in by South Crofty. Because when they broke into South East Pool, the air was stale. So they put in the extractor to extract the air. So ultimately, we would like South Crofty to take that away. If they can take it away, we can then make a viewpoint where people can... See, these people are dodging the parking fees. So this is St Michael's Mount on the island there, and that's the reason why we're here. Marazian car parks, half an hour, half a mile, not half a mile. <laughs> so it's just, you just see the corner of it. And there it is in all its Turn glory. Right and your destination will be on the right. This is it. This is it. Long term car park. Well, you just about to make the paint down, can't you? So, this is St Michael's Mound, a very famous tourist destination. Uh, and we're going to pay a visit. It's lived in by the family Orbin, is it? St Orbin. Uh, who have lived here for over 500 years. A little castle on top, which we should be visiting. And we have to go across by ferry. 
it is possible to walk I can see the ferry it is possible to walk uh, at low tide uh, which it isn't at the moment which is why we're getting we have to book the boat I forgot back. to ask you. I'm on my back. Can't you for that now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I know he can't, so. <laughs> Climb that ladder. Now we've got a much more civilized way of doing it. Right, so I'm following you because you've been what? here before. It's a All zig right. It's a zigzag okay, path. Okay, that you okay, can't okay. And again, they've got some of those horrible onshore turbines. Did you flash your uh, QR code for that commentary? No, do you want to? No, no. Do you need it? No.
the phone number and postcode. Yeah. And then our system's got a bit more than the national system's got. Like, yeah. Your mother's maiden name. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Challenging garden, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? All right, let's see the lowest terrace then. This is the walled garden. actually very shallow. So this is the end of this little adventure. We're now going to a place which is uh, more famous for art. As you can see, the tide is out. This is the beach and they've got no water. <laughs> and I'm looking over there, over the wall, I don't know if you can see it on this picture, but it looks to me like there is a beach that goes all the way from the right to the far, far, far distance. That must be a beach that's 10 miles long. Massive. Nice here, isn't it? This is St Ives. It's a uh, a centre for artists and has been since I think 1920. Uh, and it's got, uh, I think it's the only Tate Gallery outside London, which was just about to close when we got here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.